This is Yusuf from John the Hunt Dweller talking about the documentary hypothesis. And we are going to see uh, Moses getting water from a rock <laughs> and see the two different stories. One written by E, one written by P. And I want to show you what the E, God was Elohim. Uh, these are the tribes right here that uh, use the word Elohim. Now, Benjamin down here is a star. Uh, I'll explain that in another video. And these were the Yahweh, the tribes that uh, worshipped Yahweh. This is considered Israel. This is Judah. Combined, these are all Judah, even though Judah is just one of the tribes. Kind of like when I speak about the Latins, it's a bit legal in Spain. Um, so when you see these relatives get degraded, you can tell that it's this writer writing it. When you can see the these ancestors getting bashed, you can see that it's the E writer that's doing it. So this is this is P and J. This is E and D. Although Benjamin will later be, get mixed in with Judah since it wasn't in the south. So it begins. Therefore the people quarreled with Moses and said, Give us water that we may drink. And Moses said to them, Why do you quarrel with me? Why, <coughs> why do you test the Lord? Notice this is after uh, the incident at the bush. But the people thirsted therefore, thirsted there for water. And they grumbled against Moses and said, Why now have you brought us up? brought us up from Egypt to kill us and our children and our livestock with thirst. So Moses cried to the Lord and said, What shall I do to this people a little more, and they will stone me? Then the Lord said to Moses, Pass before the people and take with you some elders of Israel. Notice elders of Israel, not Aaron. And take the staff in your hand uh, with which you struck the Nile and go. Behold, stand before I will be, behold, I will stand before you on the rock of Horeb, and you shall strike the rock, and the water will come out of it, and the people saw that the people may drink. And Moses did in the sight of the elders of Israel, he named the place uh, Massa and Mirabah because the quarrel of the sons of Israel, because they tested the Lord, saying, Is the Lord among us or not? Now we go to P text. <coughs> which is in Numbers 22 uh, through 13. Uh, there was no water for the congregation. They assembled themselves against Moses and Aaron. Notice Aaron is with them. The people thus contended with Moses and spoke, saying, If only we, were, we perished when our brothers perished before the Lord, why then have you brought the Lord's assembly into the wilderness for us and our beasts to die here? Why have you made us come up from Egypt and bring us into this wretched place? It is not a place of grain or figs or vines or pomegranates, nor is there water to drink. When Moses and Aaron came in from the presence of the assembly to the doorway of the tent of meeting and fell on their faces, and they gave glory to the Lord, and and they gave glory, and, and then the glory of the Lord appeared to them, and the Lord spoke to them, saying, "Take the rod, and you and your brother Aaron assemble the congregation, speak to the rock before their eyes, that it may yield its water, and you shall thus bring forth water for them out of the rock." And let the congregation and their beasts drink. So Moses took the rod before the Lord, just as he had commanded. And Moses and Aaron gathered the assembly before the rock. 
And he said to them, Listen now, you rebels. Shall we bring forth water from out of this rock? Question mark. Then Moses lifted up his hand and struck the rock twice with his rod. Lifted up his hand and struck the rock twice with his rod. And water came forth abundantly in the congregation and their beasts drank. But the Lord said to Moses, Because you have not believed in me to treat me as holy in the sight of the sons of Israel, therefore you shall not bring the assembly into the land which I have given you. Those were the waters of Mirabah, because the sons of Israel contended with the Lord, and he proved himself holy among them. Now it's at the same place using the same name, E, the E version comes in uh, Exodus chapter 17, 2 through 7, and the P story uh, comes in Numbers 22 through 13. And it's the same story at the same place. One has Moses and the elders, and Moses was commanded to strike the rock, and he did, and it was Moses didn't do anything wrong, and he was in the sight of the elders. Uh, in P, it had the tent of meeting and all this stuff and the procedural stuff, and it had Moses and Aaron. See the difference? It's the exact same story. One is in Exodus, the other is in Numbers. Piece two, I just wanted to show this to you guys and share this with you. Here is another example of two stories occurring being told by two different sides. Peace. Remember, Aaron. Anything that really exalts Aaron is P or J. He and J are together, and D and E are together. Uh, D complements E, <clears throat> P complements J. Peace to you.